Hey, what is up guys? Back to another video. Today, I have the new updated um Realm GUI system for you guys. So, this new GUI system is going to allow the non-op players to actually be able to use the GUI. That was a big problem with the old one. Um, I didn't realize that till after I made the video, which was a bad thing. Um, but yeah, this will be the updated one. You guys will be able to use this uh, for your players, anyone in the realm. So basically, how this is working is the same way the old one is. So we're just going to open it. Um, and now we'll be able to go to warps with this. We can warp shop, warp spawn. And this works if I'm in member too. Uh, yep, so I should be able to, yep, warp spawn. So the reason why that old one didn't work is because some part of like how we're testing with the player because it's actually considered like say i'm a member see how i can only run these commands before i was trying to run like the dialogue command and you can't actually do that because you don't have permission so basically the reason um we had to go with a new system this would be a new system still works so works perfectly fine um but we're actually using the new at initiator so if you guys saw my videos, um, I have an at initiator video. It would talk some more depthly of like how this works, how the initiator works. But this is just gonna be showing you guys. Um, it actually what it's doing is when we click on this guy, it's opening up uh, a new NPC, which is basically yourself still. But we're gonna have to use at initiator to call for that thing instead of at us, like how we were doing before. So basically, instead of doing dialog open at us at us we can still do this it's still going to open up me if i go to game mode c um it's still going to open up me because we still have access to that so if you guys still want you have some custom names um like whatever you want in here blah blah, blah still works um but yeah uh so you still have that issue itself but only you're only gonna be able to open up this gui when you click on this guy and you got it opening up so basically how that's how that's working um, if you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed this, testing of yourself, um, opening it up like this, this is not actually how it's going to look for players. Make sure to go into Game with S just to see how it looks for everybody else. Um, also with this, make sure you guys have, uh, all experiments. I think we only need, uh, add-on creator features and should be just some basic experimentals. Make sure you guys have those on because, uh, most of the problems where you guys couldn't get the items. That was the main problem, giving experiments. So basically, let's get so how this works. So if you go, you guys want to use this for your own, uh, just add the add the behavior pack, which you guys will be able to download um, from my website. So basically, you go into the uh, download in the description. You will be able to go to the new download link, which would be a new realm, and you guys will be able to download that in the description, load it up, put it in your world, and now you'll be able to open this thing up. Make sure you put experiments and boom. So now you got this new GUI system. So basically how this works is now we can customize this. So uh, I'm sorry guys for everyone on Xbox or PlayStation. You guys won't be able to do much customization because of how you guys can't edit files. If you have a, a PC or a phone, it would really be helpful because you guys could edit these files and make it so it's possible to change how everything works. So basically when I open this thing, we can go to warps, shop, faction management, codes and commands, and this little close UI. Um, I still don't have the update for this X button on mobile and I think it's Xbox. I think only PC has access to this X button. I don't know what's happening with Minecraft. I don't know what that is, um, but I'll go look more into detail about that later. But make sure you guys have this close UI button just in case. Uh, players don't get this X button, which is really, really weird. I don't know why they're not getting it. Um, and also, I've seen another bug where people are opening up other players inside of Minecraft. Um, I'll actually release a new system out uh, for that. I'm, I'll be releasing a new tag system. Basically, it's going to add tags to your name if you just do slash tag the player. Very cool system. It will be coming out. Um, make sure to stay subscribed for those. But you guys will, 
With that new system, you'll be able to add the closed GUI straight to the player. So if they don't have the exponent available, we'll be able to add it to that player. So everybody in the game will have able to exit out of the menu. So make sure you stay subscribed for that video. But going on with this, so what you guys can do, um, if we want to go to warps, we can add warps, spawn, shop, crates, home, and hub, and close GUI. So you guys will be able to customize this in, t in your files. So how you guys will do that is make sure you have everything downloaded. And if we want to open up, so how, how you do that is, okay, so you're going to go to your files. We're going to go to the dialog file right in here. And this will be inside the GUI. This is what you guys are changing. This is what you guys are doing with. So the GUI file scrolls over here. This is where you're changing everything at. All right. So how this works is first time you're opening up that GUI, it's opening up GUI page zero. Okay. Same as what it did before. Go watch the old video if you still don't understand. Um, but differently. What it used to be before is dialog open add s add s. Now we have add s and initiator. So this is just what you guys are going to do if you want to change your page. Um, same thing with all the other ones just to change pages. So say we click on warps, it's going to TP us right here. I was going to open up a new page over here. So now if we want to execute command on that player, we'll do slash TP add initiator. So we can do whatever command we want. And if we want to execute on the player, add initiator. There we go. So close UI, make sure you guys have that. So shop, uh, same thing, add initiator. And if you want to do some executes, make sure you do add execute initiator and add initiator again basically how it works so if you guys want to add um say you want to buy actually i'll show you guys how it works so if i want to add a let's say just randomly you guys won't want to do this but we add just add a warps in here so if we add a warps in here uh if we reload the game this is I don't know why you guys would want this here, but I'm just showing you how easy it is just to add something right now. So now we have that in here. Okay. Uh, reload the game. Make sure you guys do that. And I should have my warps right inside my shop. Yep, there we go. As simple as that. Um, so if you guys need any more help, uh, make sure to go into the description. They'll be, I'll be on the website. Uh, mcbehub.com so we got the dialogue entities and item files in here uh, what I've changed inside the GUI is now we're doing summon mbc dummy and mcb open if you guys want to look into those files you're free free to look um, I'm not I'm not going to stop you guys from using this into your own stuff uh, it's public information do what you please I'm not going to be oh I made this please don't use it no you guys are good um, so basically how it's working, it's opening up this dummy, and that's basically why we can't do add s anymore. Um, and all this player Jason is doing, this is just giving us an NPC component. You guys can remove this file if you don't want, um, like edible names or like when you click on players, it opens up some cool stuff. So you can remove that file if you want. Uh, I like to keep it in there. Um, and we got, that's basically it. If you want to add some more GUI files, um, that could be used in opening up more NPCs. So say we want to open up the analog open, add s, add s to G shop actually, shop zero is a thing. Yeah, now we can buy diamonds. Show it to myself. But this only works because I'm an operator, which sucks. Ah, uh, sucks, sucks, sucks. But I wish we can run commands straight off of like, I wish it just didn't check for permissions, but it's Minecraft. It makes sense. We don't want anything to run for the client like that. That would not be good. Um, so yeah, basically that's it for this video. Make sure to go into the description, download those new updates and shit. And yeah, peace out.